Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, new Windows 10 build toolkit. This is 20246 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. First thing you notice on here, that it now says FE release and not pre-release. And that's because Microsoft has changed the branch that we're currently getting these builds from. We were getting pre-release, we're getting now this FE release. Which means a lot of the features have sort of gone backwards and we've removed, or Microsoft removed a lot of the features to, um, because the features aren't tied to a specific build. Now we're on a specific build. I'm guessing this is 21H1, what will be 21H1, and we'll start to see some features come back in that. Then they'll switch over to the beta channel and we'll start testing that build and uh, we'll see what happens with that. But for this build, like I said, a lot of uh, things have been removed. So here are the changes with this build. There's hardly any really. There's, um, they've added automatic Linux uh, distro installation to the WSC install command, so that means it already installs a, a Linux subsystem for you. The rest of the stuff are just fixes, um, like pick time button, and they fix some um, border issues and some UI issues and Wi-Fi issues. There's still some known issues. Um, the extended period of time has been there for a long time. Um, games not installing off a secondary oh, non OS drive, a second drive, which is what I use for my gaming PC, so watch out for that one. Um, there's some other ones on there, like power shells uh, there with Surface Pro X. But really that's it for changes with this build. There's, there's, there really isn't any changes with this build. What Microsoft doing is changing on the release branch and I think we'll see things pop back in over time. Hopefully anyway. So thanks for watching this video. Sorry I can't show you a bit more but I do like documenting these videos. This is 20246 and you'll see more on our YouTube channel on the thedishlifestyle.com and I'm at Ice Dixon on Twitter.